Hey you, yeah you, watching this video. Get this unit, cause it's bomb. <laughs> welcome back to my channel and i'm just so excited i'm so excited because i get to show you guys this beautiful unit by eunice hair i want to say thank you to eunice hair for sending over this unit and sponsoring this video so let's get right into this unboxing this wig came with a cute satin bag which i love it came with your standard wig cap um, a nice melting band and this cute bonnet along with a makeup brush for your lace All right, now let's get into it. So this is the wig right out of the box It had these beautiful waves in it um, I'm gonna wash it. So we're gonna get the the true wave of the hair But this is it straight out of the box. There was no shedding with this wig but the color on this wig is just so beautiful. Um, it's even more beautiful in person. So a closer look at the cap construction. This is a T-part wig. The lace is only in the center as you can see. It did come with two combs on the side and a comb in the back. So here is a closer look at the hairline on this wig. The hairline is not pre-plugged. If you do decide to pluck this unit, it is about one inch of lace on the sides. So I did go in and wash this unit, of course, and I did use the Tresemme Rich Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the hair after washing, and this is a closer look at the hairline. I did go in and pluck the hairline just a little bit along with the parting space. After air drying, I did decide to blow out this hair just a little bit. Um, I just kind of wanted a smoother finish. So now to the most important part, you do want to go in with a hot comb and just press out this unit and get it as flat as possible. I do use my wax stick to press out the hairline, which makes it look more natural. So ladies, now it's time to prep our hair. I am going to braid it in a single braid i'm going to take my eco styler gel and just slick down my edges and kind of just comb all those hairs back and just get it sleek i'm going to take the wig cap that they sent me and and i'm not going to do a ball cap method that's just not necessary for this kind of wig but i am going to take my maybelline foundation in the color mocha so when I was tinting the lace, I did go in with this ebon lace tint and I believe medium brown, but it really wasn't doing what it needed to do because this um, lace is not bleached. You really do need to go in with like a foundation to really cover those knots. So now we're going to put this unit on and it was a nice snug fit. It was not a big unit on me it fit perfectly i'm just going in with my rat tail comb and just kind of pushing my hairs back um my hairline on the sides is kind of low so i did have to kind of finagle this unit to kind of make it work so i'm cutting off the ear tabs and just cutting parts in my lace i kind of like to section it off it just makes it easier to apply so now I'm going in with this spray adhesive. This is not a glue, but it is a adhesive and this is my first time using it. And I will say that I did like it, but one thing to know is you do not want to spray a lot of this because it will leave a white residue or like a white cast. And um, you'll see later on in the video how I had to kind of um, finagle the hairline and kind of just wipe it a little bit because it did leave like a small like white cast but I just think I applied too much of the spray after spraying you want to go in with your blow dryer on cool and just kind of blow dry the hairline 
and now I'm going in with my scissors and just kind of going in a zigzag motion and cutting the lace off ladies please take your time because I did kind of like nick myself um, with like the eyebrow razor so that's why I switched over to scissors because I like cut myself I was trying to be careful because I didn't want to cut any of my hairline because my hairline is kind of low. So now I'm just going in with the ebb and spray again and just kind of laying those edges down. That's like the key in making your lace melt. So taking your rat tail comb, you just kind of want to pull out the amount of baby hairs that you want. Um, this was a little bit of a trial and error for me, um, but yeah, I'm just going to put my melting band on that Eunice hair sent me and I am just going to let that sit um, while I begin to curl my hair. So what I will say is make sure you have a wax stick. I'm using the Care Care wax stick. Um, I'm still on the hunt to like kind of try out different wax sticks, but this part is so important. Like this is what's gonna set your wig apart and just look, make it look more natural, um, is really taking that hot comb and putting a nice bump in the front and just smoothing out the edges. So now to styling, I just wanted some big like body wave curls so I'm gonna go in with my hot tools curling iron and just curl this hair away y'all As I was curling, I was starting to get excited because I was like, ooh, this is holding a nice curl. Um, this hair is so soft, y'all. Like, I was so excited to see like what, how the curls and stuff was gonna turn out. Now to the best part is taking off the melting band and just kind of seeing how your lace has melted is like the best. So this is what I was talking about. Um, I did have to go in and wet like a little rag and just kind of wipe off any excess um, hairspray, but a little water does the trick. So I'm going in with my hot comb again, and you wanna press out the baby hairs going forward. And this is all like helping in the process of making your baby hairs um, lay. So I am taking my razor and just cutting my baby hairs you can cut them, you know, at the length that you want. As you start to swoop them, you might, you know, decide that it's too long and you kind of just need to cut a little bit off. These were the baby hairs that I decided to do. You can do less baby hairs. It's all about what you want. So this is what I was talking about earlier. You want to take your hot comb and press out the edges, like press out the front, like get it like laid. You want to comb it up. Going back in with my foundation, depending on your color, you just wanna put some in the parting space and I'm kind of just touching up the lace in the front. And we are basically done y'all. Eunice, Eunice hair. Y'all have done it again. I mean, look at this unit. Look at this color. It's gorgeous. This is their 22 inch T-part balayage unit. 
it has these beautiful um, highlights in it gorgeous it holds a curl like baby this is look it's beautiful i love it the color is bomb like the the bounce the the hair is so soft like it's so soft and um i love it it's the perfect color like I feel like it's just it's just the perfect color for fall for the holidays like yes I'm going to be rocking this like I love the color it's not too much it's like just enough blonde I love it and that's why I keep touching it because I love it it's so pretty like I said I do feel like this wig is a beginner friendly wig because you really don't have to do too much um you do want to go in and you know um Put a little foundation or powder on the inside just on this part because remember, remember this there's no lace here it's only lace in this middle section and like i said this is five um inches of parting space um but i love it y'all this is like the length you can kind of see the color All right, loves, that is the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial, this install of this beautiful Eunice um, unit. And listen, just go get it. Go ahead, hit that link in the description box. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think of this unit. Like, do you guys like the color? Like, what let me know how y'all feel about these tea party units thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing because i know you did i know you subscribed if you haven't subscribed yet like what are you waiting for um so thank you in advance for subscribing and i guess i'll see you guys in the next video because there will be a next one bye